May God bless the loss of innocent life on this sad day. And may the Lord be near the brokenhearted and save those crushed in spirit because they're going to need a lot of help. After returning from his trip to Asia, President Biden addressed the nation about that mass shooting, what he had to say, and what we know about the investigation, tops two news at 7 o'clock. Now, President Biden spoke just before 6 p.m. tonight. I'm Ariana Bennett. I'm Ryan Kennedy. Thanks for joining us here tonight. During his remarks, he mentioned a call for stricter gun laws, but he expressed grief as well that many Americans are feeling tonight after this tragedy in a small city in Texas. The parents who will never see their child again, never have them jump in bed and cuddle with them. <clears throat> parents will never be the same. To lose a child is like having a piece of your soul ripped away. It is such a sad day to think about what all these people are going through here. We want to show you the map of where the fatal shooting happened earlier today at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. Uvalde is located about 85 miles west of San Antonio. The death toll from today's fatal school shooting is up to 18 young children, at least one adult, with others injured in the hospital as well. Michelle Lorenzo is live in the newsroom following the latest updates for us tonight. Michelle. Ryan, at this time, there are many parents in the small town still worried about their kids because some say they haven't heard from their children since the shooting happened. Look for my daughter. I mean, they don't after the shooting, they don't know where she's at. I mean, her, the list, her name is not here. You know, and uh, we don't know a list of who's gotten flown out and you're not letting us in at the hospital right now. So we're, we're, we don't know where to go. Rob Elementary School teaches second, third, and fourth grade students with around 600 kids that attend the school. And Thursday was set to be the last day of school before summer break. Now the school district is canceling all school activities because of the incident. And officials say the shooter was 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, who was a resident of Uvalde and student at Uvalde High School. Now Texas Governor Greg Abbott said police believe he abandoned his vehicle and entered into the school armed. CBS News Law enforcement sources say he was armed with a handgun, an AR-15 assault weapon, and high-capacity magazines. Now, according to officials, Ramos died today, too, and believe he acted on his own. Now, investigators are trying to learn more about the suspect, who they believe now they suspect that he killed his grandmother before the shooting happened. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Michelle Lorenzo, 2 News.